lovely friends and welcome back to my channel. Hello. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late this week. My, as you know, my spare room has been currently decorated and yeah, um, I've been, everything's been all over the place so I've not had a chance to film and I've not had all my makeup in the right place and such so it would have been really stressful for me so I thought I'd just give it an extra day or two before I started filming. So yeah, hello and uh, I'm glad to be back. Right, so in today's video I'm going to be, it's the first impression of the Made by Mitchell range. I really wanted to buy his stuff. I really like his palette from Beauty Bay. Um, so yeah, I mean I have a lot of faith in his formula so I thought I'd give it a go. So this launched a couple of weeks ago. We all knew the price point of the products um, before it came out. So it came out with two eyeshadow palettes, some brushes, uh, liquid blushes. Um, it came out with like uh, makeup organizers, um, it lived with, like it's in bags, there was a suitcase um, and a mirror. And the prices I thought were a little bit steep. I think, well the, pa the palettes are 40 pound each. Blushes, I think, are £16. I'll double check that. Eyeshadow brushes were £8.50 each. Larger brushes for, like, face brushes were £10 each. Um, to get the set, I think it was, like, £64 for, like, seven or eight brushes. So that's quite expensive. So, all in all, it's an expensive brand to invest into. And I know a lot of people were a little bit dubious about spending the money on a new brand because... We don't know the quality of it and um, but yeah I know a lot of people have been waiting on reviews to give it a go and I took the plunge because I I have faith in his um, product so yeah. So let's go on the experience of actually buying the stuff on launch day. The website was well laid out, um, it, there was no crashing or anything like that like I don't want to say any other brands, <coughs> colour pop. <coughs> be perfect <laughs> where the site completely crashes because of the amount of traffic that's on there um, so it seemed that they had prepared very well technologically on the website so it was a pleasant shopping experience sorry I've got my crusty thing um, but one thing I was surprised about was the shipping cost now regardless of how much you spend I think I spent over £100 on the things that I got that I'm going to look at today. It's £5 for UK shipping and I think personally that is steep but I thought well £5 that's not too bad if I get in a couple of days it's fine. You know they've got to cover the costs at the moment with you know coronavirus and such it's probably a little bit more difficult now. Yeah and I gave them a little bit of let's say leeway because it's a new brand. What I didn't know and I found out afterwards because a lot of people have been having the same issue where um, they were putting orders in and they didn't get a confirmation email. I was one of them, I didn't get a confirmation email. Although it was quickly resolved once I DM'd the Made by Mitchell team, they sent me over my confirmation email a couple of days later. Um, so I thought that was a little bit poor but it seemed like it was easily resolved if you didn't have one they sent you one out. And the other thing was, like I said, I didn't realise but um, another a friend of mine told me that shipping could take 14 days. 14 days. That for five pound, you're paying five pound plus the amount of money that you're spending on his product and it could take up to two weeks to get to you. Um, my personal opinion, I, I'm, I wasn't happy about that. I, I was a little bit, I was um, a little bit peeved, let's say. But luckily for me, I got mine within a week maybe. I think I got mine, when did I get mine? I got it early this week. So yeah, Monday, Tuesday, I got mine within a week. Um, but I know people who live in the UK um, who haven't even had a shipping confirmation yet and they ordered on launch day, similar time to me and yeah, and then I know other people who have bought it from other countries and yeah, and obviously their shipping was more which is to be expected, you know, we don't mind paying more when it's from a different country that it's to be expected but you expect it to be shipped in order that they are pl the orders are placed and I don't think that happened and a lot of people were really quite you know not a little bit cheesed off let's say but my experience a week and I paid five pounds shipping when I spent a lot of money I was a little bit annoyed but I get it it's a new brand they're trying to get themselves sorted and things 
So yeah, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's hit and miss with the, the shopping experience. So yeah, fingers crossed that the products are actually worth it anyway. So I'm gonna get into it. I bought both eyeshadow palettes. So I got the, oh, let me have a look, because they're in pouches at the moment. So let me just pull this back. So I got this one. And this is the Feet on the Ground palette. And this is the one that I really wanted the most. I like both palettes, but this is the one that drew me in. I like the like dirty, murky green shades. I just think they're lovely. And it looks like this. So it's a £25 palette, as you can see. Pans are large. They are large in size. Yeah, this is the packaging. It comes with a large mirror, which is appreciative. You know, I'm, I'm a happy, I appreciate it. The packaging feels nice. Honestly, the style of the packaging, it's not my cup of tea but I get where he's going with it. It's different, it's unique, and yeah, I'm, I'm glad I've got it, it's nice. The one thing that <laughs> I didn't understand is the pouches. So both eyeshadow palettes come with a pouch, and honestly, I could have done without the pouch. I think what I would have preferred is, rather than it automatically come as a package with the palette and the pouch, I'd rather have the option to take the pouch off and maybe save a couple of quid there, here and there. Because I don't, I don't know what I'm going to use it for. Maybe I don't know. Maybe travelling with brushes or travelling with makeup. I could just use it as a makeup bag, maybe when I'm travelling. But yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm not, I'm not that bothered about these pouches. I think they're a bit pointless. But that's my opinion. This one is the, ooh, what's it called? Head in the Clouds palette. That's it. I should know these off by heart, <laughs> but I don't. So it looks like this, and yeah, this is, I liked the green one more, but I thought, if I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get both of them and give them a chance. So yeah, same amount of shades in this one. Um, again, big pans, and this is what the palette looks like. Uh, as you can see, I've had my big, chunky sausage fingers inside when I was doing my swatches, so you know. So this is what this looks like. In the next clip, I'm gonna swatch both palettes. Um, so it's gonna be feet on the ground first, and then head in the clouds second, so yeah. I'll be back in a second. to get better with the swatches they're not the best uh, I'm trying to get the right angle I mean before in previous videos I've had Paul record me but he's on he's working nights and I'm trying to work out the different positions that I can put this camera in to make it look better my hair's driving me nuts today I look like a clown uh, so yeah so the other bits that I bought apart from the two eyeshadow palettes was I bought one of the liquid blushes so this is what it looks like and Another thing that annoys me about this is called Blurish, with an R in it. Blurish. Don't know if you can see. I, uh, I don't get it. I don't, I, don't, I don't understand why it's called Blurish. Can't you just call it? This is the shade Peach Sugar. Just quickly swatch it. So it looks like this. So it's a nice peachy shade. Just what I like. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that because... I'm not normally a liquid blush kind of gal, liquid products, I'm more of a powder product kind of person just because I'm kind of scared of using liquid products but I think I thought it looked nice, I like the shade, oh, a little bit of, a little bit of stainage and I also bought two eyeshadow brushes just to give them a try, I didn't want to buy the set for £64, I've got, 
I've got enough brushes in my collection, I really don't need to buy any more, but I thought I'd give them a go because, you know, just give it a fair shot. Um, so then I got these two brushes, so I got the, got the MC1 and the MC2, I believe these are like the blended brushes, I forgot what they're called. So this one's obviously a bigger blending brush, and this one's a lot smaller, I like a good small blending brush, they feel very soft, feel very nice quality. Not keen on the colour, personally, but I do like chartreuse, but I don't like it on my brushes, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into the first impressions. I've already done my eyebrows, obviously that's why I'm looking up. I have primed my eyes. Um, so yeah, I've got a nice tacky base just to work with. I've used the Beauty Bay Eye Primer, the one that I've been using. I might actually put a little bit more on. So yeah, primed and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do head in the clouds on this eye and I'm going to do feet on the ground on this eye. And I'm swearing at you inadvertently again. I'm not doing it on purpose, I promise. Oh, let's do feet on the ground first because I'm most excited about this one. So I'm going to give that a go first. So I'm going to go into the shade Bored in the House first. So this is that really deep uh, cool tone brown at the top. Nice dark brown, what I like. Uh, and I'm going to go in with my usual Morphe M506. I've just cleaned it, so I'm just checking it's dry. Oh, there's a kick up in the pan. But um, I noticed that when I swatched, they're quite buttery feeling and really soft pressed. Some of them, some are a bit more hard pressed, some are more soft. This one is obviously more soft. So I'm just going to pack this on the outer corner. And then I'm going to take it to the center and go in, into the inner corner, but not all the way across. Probably about there. Yeah, it's pigmented. Um, very nice, going on nicely. I don't know if you'll you'll probably realize this already, but it's going to be a long ass video, so you are welcome. So yeah, that. And then I'm going to go into a Morphe um, M456 brush, just a little blending brush, and I'm going to put a tiny bit on, you know the drill, start blending that out, get the blend going. And I'm going to start extending that out, using this. So yeah, that looks nice. I'm probably zipping through this quite quickly because I'm really excited to use all the other shades. <laughs> so I'm going to go into my Morphe JS12, I want to say. Yeah, so my little blending brush is stained, sorry. And I'm going to go into the shade Earth Child next, which is this dirty green, which looks really nice. I don't know why I want to say green, I'd say it like that, like green, green weird person so put that above and then I'm going to start pulling that into the inner corner slightly It looks like that so far. Right, I'm going to use the same brush because I'm lazy and I'm going to go into the shade. I'm going to go into the shade ground next, which is a little bit more warmer toned, like brown. Or do I go into chameleon? No, I'm going to go into ground. The shadows are working really nice, there's no patchiness, no, um, yeah, no patchiness or anything like that. They seem to be blending well with one another, um, yeah. 
of less thus far, um, please. I just bring that into my inner corner a little bit. Blend it. Okay, it's nice. And then I'm going to go in to a little brush. I think this is a new brush of mine. A blank com the blend blank canvas E10 brush. And I'm going to go into the shade breaking. I think so. This shade here, just to blend it out even more. It's a nice flippity floppity brush. Probably not the best doing it like this, but I like to use little brushes all the way through, to be honest. Get my little peepee -pee eyes. I always feel like I don't have a big enough lid space. That's what we've got so far. Obviously, the colours look really patchy and um, a lot of the shades are covered up. So I'm going to go back in and re-intensify the shade. So I'm going to zip through that now. This moment to stop Time to go home Don't want this night to end Yeah, but time we stop pretending Come home with me Let's write a history Tonight I'll make you see It's all about us It's all about us As we're dancing close together Making we're back and I've just cut my crease as you saw so yeah I am liking how it's looking thus far so I'm gonna take a flat brush and what shade shall I use hmm I think I'm going to fall's gold so this shade here I'm gonna go into that one for my inner part of my eye, I think. I think I might use another shimmer as well. And I'm going to use it wet because shimmers just always work better wet. So I want it wet. The shimmers are crumbly, but I don't mind that. Yeah, it seems to be nice, this. Gotta layer it up a bit. Which I don't mind, as long as I get the payoff that I want. And I'm gonna bring that to the centre of my eyeball. Okay. 
so that's how it's looking so far right i'm just going to give this brush a quick wipe and then i'm going to go into the shade grass next which is this shade here again going to go with, with it which is what again i expect from a shimmer a nice shimmer anyway just over that, lap that slightly with the other shade that's very nice is that shade and I'm going to layer it up Just wipe that off again and I'm going to go back into the first shimmer shade that we had which is Fool's Gold. I'm just going to layer that up a little bit more. really need to stop spraying near my mirror. As my mum used to say, if you were born with a brain, you'd be dangerous, girl. Yeah, that's really nice, is that? Very nice. So I'm just going to blend that outer edge. So I'm going to use my Morphe M506 again, and I'm going to go with the shade. I'm going to go with the shade greener, which is just a second. <clears throat> this dirty green at the bottom. See how that does. A nice shade. I'm just stippling that on, and then I'm going to go into the shade Earth Child next. And then lastly, Bard in the House deep shade. Just get that pressed in. So that's how it looks so far. I'm just going to do the, actually, I'm going to do the lower lash line oh, what am I doing with my finger? I might do the lower lash line when I when I've done my base I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right. Let me just smooth this eye primer out before we start the next side. But yeah, overall, so far, I'm enjoying it. Feel it's a nice palette. That one. I'm going to go into the shade Bless You. This shade up here. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner and under my brow bone. Ooh. Holy moly, that's uh, cheap pigmented. Ooh, that's nice. And up here we go. Wow, that's a really glittery shimmer shade. I like it. That's nice. Anyway, but yeah, happy thus far with that one. So let's go with Head in the Clouds one. Now this one is a little bit more uh, difficult to uh, wear. What, what, well, I'm not quite sure. What. All I know is I want to use that blue shimmer shade. That's all I know. So I will try do with that what I will want to do. I think. Um, okay. So I'm brushing. I'm because I'm lazy. I'm using the same brushes. I'm just cleaning them off in between because I might as well. I'm gonna go in the shade Midnight first, which is this sort of deep blue shade, purpley shade. So oh, again, kick up in the pan. Very soft. Nice. You know that nice matte formula. I'm doing the same sort of shape with this eye as well, so no different, just the same, just different colours. Now this one, I can see already, um, 
it's not as pigmented as I was expecting. It's a bit patchy in some places. I don't know if you can see. It's going to require some building, but we'll see how it blends. That's the uh, that's the main thing. So I'll just swoop in that out, like we did with the other side. I'm really impressed with this side. I like it a lot. I'm trying to pack this on as much as possible, but seems a bit patchy, does this shade? Excuse me. Right, and then I'm going to go back into my Morphe M50, no, wrong one, <laughs> M456. Um, same shade, just try and tickle it out, put a little bit on. Okay, that's not blending out as bad as I thought it would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Right, and then I'm going to go, let me just quickly wipe this brush back in with the Morphe JS12 brush. And then I'm going to go into the shade Shepherd's Delight, which is a completely different shade. I'm just going to see how they do. Which is this like mm, ready brownie colour. I'm not very good at describing. I don't know if you can, if if you've been given that impression because it, yeah, it's true. Ooh, I think I'm wanting like a sunset eye with this one. That's what I'm. Uh, that's my thought process with this. Nice is that shade, I like it. Looks a bit messy at the moment, but we will finesse, we will finesse it later. Just looks like I'm throwing a load of make eyeshadow on, which I am. <coughs> Let's not pretend that's not what I'm doing. On a side note, this video is going to be a complete bummel to uh, edit. So have me in your thoughts later and be like, well, she put a lot of effort into this one. I might give her a like. I might give her a subscribe. Actually, no, don't mind it. Subscribe now. Press that button. Press subscribe and click that bell, please. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go in with the same brush again because I'm lazy and that's okay. And I'm going to go into the shade hmm, Sunburn, I think, which is this orangey shade. Trying not to stick my middle finger up at you. Tap off, and here we go. Go over that. Oh, that's a nice shade. Reminds me of like a fruit punch sort of shade. Yeah. Ooh. Mama like. Again, not a mum. I'm a cat mum. Actually, yeah, I am a mum actually. Cat mums are also mums. Uh, going to my Morphe M5 at Form 4. I used this on my other eye when I was sorting out because I realised that the blank canvas brush that I was using was a bit not for what I wanted it for. And I'm going to go into the shade Banana Skies, I think, because the UF Ho. So this one's, wait, UF Ho Banana Skies. 
I feel like Banana Skies might be a little bit better. Actually, no, I'm going to go into UFO because I like the name. For that simple reason, I like the name. So I'll get that yellow on. I mean, I'm not going dramatic or anything with my eye makeup. This is so natural. So natural. Okay. I can't do that. Oh, Carol, I can go. <laughs> I can't do that, that really cool okay that people do with their tongue and they go. I need to learn because I really like it. <laughs> So, you know the drill. Gonna go back in with the shades again. Gonna put you on speed, cause... No, I'm not. I'm gonna put you... I'm gonna speed this up. So we're back. I'm gonna get a different flat brush if I can find one. Anyway, I cut my crease and yeah, let's get on to putting some glitter, metallic glitter, some shimmer on my eyes. So right, I think I'm gonna go into the shade Sun. Oh no, I thought it was thingy. So disguise first for my inner part, and just like the other palette, I'm just gonna. Load it onto my brush and I'm going to wet it. Ooh. That's very nice. Sorry, just putting my mirror right in front of your face. Just what you want. I'm such a good YouTuber. Like, it's no wonder 
I've only got 100 subscribers. <laughs> I'm joking. But I'm not at the same time. I will get better, I promise, I promise. I know I keep saying it, I'm going to keep trying. So, yeah. It's very pretty, is that? Very pretty. And then I'm going to go into <clears throat> the shade I'm excited about, this blue. Oh. Oh, so pretty. I just had to put it on my finger just so I could see it even better. Using the same brush because I'm lazy. Again, wet it. And off we go. Oh, that is so pretty. Oh, wow. I think this blue rivals my, the blue in my, um, Dose of Colours Friendcation palette. Oh my god, this is ah, stunning. A very nice blue. Wowzers. I knew it'd be good though from the swatch. I could just. I could just tell. I could just foresee it. Ooh, it's very nice. Yes, it looks a bit stupid right now, but just give me a moment. I'm going to put some of that So Disguise back on the brush. And I'm just going to pat it over the blue. And hopefully get this blend on. There we go. so nice I'm really liking this wow anyway I'm gonna do my base I'm gonna do it on camera but I'm gonna be quiet and I'm gonna do it really fast um where is my micellar water so I can wipe the fallout off and yeah I will do the I'll do the blush I'll stop and do the blush uh and I also did a boob I realized I hadn't actually used any of the brushes till the end so my thought on that nice yeah Good brush i like the size of it i like how small it is I like how floppy it is for blending it felt really nice to use and yeah i'm glad i've got it um uh, is it worth the money to buy i, I mean i haven't got the set eight pound fifty it's not so bad for a brush um i know there's cheaper out there but it's okay um it, yeah it's nice uh, i think what he probably should have done is because it's smaller maybe made like incremental like costs for each brush rather than just £8.50 for eyebrushes, £10 for face brushes um yeah because that I'm just going off of what Morphe do as well they do a similar thing where I don't know some brushes are £6, some are £8, some are £10 just to make it a little bit easier but anyway back to uh to this so yeah I'm gonna be quiet now Chills down. 
Right, so while my base is still quite damp, well, well, so I've not set my base, should I say, I'm going to go into the blush, the blush, blush. Uh, so yeah, as I said earlier, this is in the shade Peach Sugar, so I'm going to, I think I'm only just going to dot a tiny bit there. Probably positioned it nowhere near I need to position it. I'm just going to use the bottom end of my sponge and just... Pounce that in. Oh, it's nice, is this? Although I think I'd probably put it a bit high, but oh, never mind. So yeah, that's it. Mmm, it's nice, I think. I think it's something that I need to test out a little bit more because, to be honest, I'm, like I said earlier, I'm not very good with liquid blushes and I've never really used them. I'm going to put a bit more concealer on because I think I've got a bit too high. And, um, yeah, basically, I'm not very good at it, but I like the shade. It blended out really nicely. Um, yeah. And if you like that sort of product, yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Right, I'll go back on to being quick again. So, I'm back. Right, we're going to do the lower lash together. 
I'm gonna be really, I'm, I'm really hesitant to do it actually, to be fair, because of fallout. Uh, I'm just gonna pop some eyeliner into my waterline. This is for the, sorry, it's not a Charlotte video, we are knocking everything over. Um, into my waterline for the Head in the Clouds palette. Uh, I've just gone for the Barry M High Vis one and then I'm going to go for a yellow for this one I think just to give it a bit of something so this is the Colourpop one see how this one does This is my problematic eye, that's why it looks a bit patchy. Just give me a moment and then I'll go over with another layer. I might actually use the LA Girl Shockwave one instead over the top. We'll see. Anyway, anyway, anyway. I'm going to go in with my Morphe Little, Let's see if it'll focus, probably not because it, my big head, my little smudger brush. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to do this side first. Uh, I'm going to go back in with Midnight, that deepest shade that we use, and I'm just going to run that along the lower lash line quite tightly. So yeah, whenever when you use in this palette, I would definitely do your base afterwards, just in general. Just to be on the safe side. And I'm going to keep it quite purpley underneath. Um, I'm going to go in with this brush. This is just a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40 brush. It's similar to an M506 and I'm just going to go in with the shade Perps and Kacos. So tap off as much of the excess as possible and I'm just going to Buff that out. Okay, I'm happy with that. I need to do an inner, co inner corner and brow bone um, shade for this one. If I need me bluish. Uh, clouded for this one, so that's this like white shimmer shade. So I'm just gonna pop that there. That's nice. It's a nice inner corner shade. Um, and then under my brow. Yeah. I think I need to find a different brush for under my brow bone because it's a bit bigger this one. But it'll do for today. Doesn't really matter about the look that I'm doing, it's more to do with how the shadows perform. So I'm going to go back in with that smudger shade, uh, should smudger shade, smudger brush that I used. I've just wiped it off, and I'm going to go back into board in the house again, tap off any excess, and just run that along my lower lash line. To say that my under eyes are set, the shadows are performing okay. They're pigmented, you know. All right. That. And then I'm going to go back into that Jaclyn Hill brush again. I'm lazy, so I've just wiped it off. And I'm going to go into the shade Earth Child. Excuse me, I've got a hair in my eye. And just sweep that underneath and blow it out. So yeah, this is how the eyes are looking at the moment. I'm going to pop some lashes on and a lip and then we're going to do my final thoughts in a second. I'll be right back. And we're back with the finished look. What do we think? Let me zoom you in a bit. So this is the feet on the ground side. And this is the head in the clouds side. 
what do we think? Which is your which one's your favourite? I think I can do a lot more with this side. Um, I just wanted to stick to the greens for now. Let me zoom back out again because I look a bit weird. Um, so yeah, um, this is the finished look. My hair is still crazy. I do like to curl it on occasion with my chopstick curler piece. So yeah, it's just it always looks better the day after I think. But anyway, my final thoughts on these: the eyeshadow palettes, forty pound. Uh, now I've used them and I know how they feel and such. Yeah, I think £40 is on the higher end scale, but they are a nice quality eyeshadow. Um, I really enjoyed using them. Um, yeah, I like the big mirror that you get inside them, like I said. I like the size of the pans. It's not scrimped on the size of the pans, so nice and big. And yeah, um, it feels like a nice product for £40. I've bought eyeshadow palettes for more money that I've been more disappointed with so yeah if you are thinking of buying them um I would I think the I'm not too sure but I've heard they're out of stock now but I think he's bringing them back um just bearing in mind shipping to the UK is five pound and it might take longer than you're expecting um so yeah there's that the brushes right I, I only used the little one today this little one but let me just have a look at this one as well. Feels very similar. Uh, yeah, they feel nice. This one feels was good when I used it. It was what I needed. And yeah, I'm, I like them. Uh, I'm glad I've got them in my collection. Would I buy the entire brush set? No, I don't think I would. £64 is steep for the amount of brushes you get in that pack. And yeah, I don't... Pff, I think £64 to spend on brushes is expensive anyway. Um, if, I'm pay if I'm paying that, I want a bit more. So, yeah, uh, I don't want, I'm probably not going to buy it because I've got enough brushes. Um, and if you're, you're thinking about buying it, then okay, go, yeah, sure, if that's what you want to do. But if you're on the fence, I would say no, shop around a little bit more. There's probably much better sets out there. Um, now, the blush, I've put it away now. Um, I'm going to be kind to this because I... Um, pretty useless with cream products. I've obviously put a blush over the top as well. It looked the colour was really nice. I really liked the colour. Um, yeah, and I think a little goes a long way. So don't overdo it too much. Just put a little bit on and then bit by bit thingy. I just need to get better with my positioning because I just I'm not quite. I wasn't quite sure. Uh, but yeah, it seemed nice. Um, again. It's a bit pricey. I don't know enough about formulas of liquid blushes to say, yes, go get this. This is better than other ones. But I do know that MUA do a cheap like uh, cream blush. And I've heard from other people that it's very good. So I think if it was me who was trying to get into this sort of thing again, I, trying to get into this sort of thing, I would probably go for a drugstore brand first um like MUA or something like that um before splurging out on this um just because I I can't recommend something that I don't know enough about like formula wise and such I do think it's nice it worked well um if you're in again if you're interested and you're dead set on getting it then get it if you're on the fence I'd go for a cheap product first if you start getting into using liquid blushes and such um, then yeah it seems good to me but I don't know enough about them but yeah I'm going to continue using it and see how if how skilled I get at doing it because I'm not very at the moment so yeah thank you for joining me I'm sorry it's been a long one but I hope you enjoyed it so yeah back again to the finished look comment down below which is your favorite like always can you please subscribe to my channel it means so much to me um, and it helps me much more than you actually realise. And yeah, it's just, yeah, I'd appreciate it so much if you watch my videos and enjoy my content that you subscribe to me. And if you click the bell, obviously you get all my, all the notifications of when I upload. So that's great. And yeah, um, like and comment. I always reply to my uh, comments. Um, so yeah, thank you again for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Bye.